how they tried to destroy Janet Jackson. The Nipplegate incident was aired on CBS, which is owned by Viacom. The CEO, Les Moonves, demanded personal apologies from Janet and Justin. Justin agreed, but Janet refused, as the wardrobe malfunction had been an accident. Les Moonves was so angry with Janet, he had all her videos blacklisted by the Viacom owned MTV and all her music from Viacom radio stations. Janet had also been booked to perform at the Grammys the following week, but after the Super Bowl incident, her invitation was withdrawn. Demita Joe, released just after the Super Bowl, became her lowest selling album since 1984 at the time. In recent years, the appalling treatment the superstar experienced has undergone a cultural re-evaluation, with most agreeing that it was unfair and disproportionate. Janet continues to be an entertainment legend, making music and touring to this day.